Hello and welcome. You are here with me, Jill Maurer. I am a jewelry designer. I do talk a lot about jewelry on this channel. Today, however, I have an unboxing for you. I have a Louis Vuitton unboxing. I was recently at Tyson's Galleria with Bobster92, and that is where I purchased this item. While I was there, he and I both purchased one of these, a luggage tag. We unboxed it on Bobster92's channel, and then on my channel, he shared two different ways to put this luggage tag on your bag. When I was at Tyson's, I wasn't really planning to buy anything. My goal was to look at everything, create a wish list, think about it, and then go back in a little while. But I had thought about this item a lot and hadn't done it, and I'll tell you why as I unbox it and why I decided to go ahead and get it this time while I was there with Bobster92. So here is the bag, and as you can see, it's not very big, and inside is this box. Also inside is my receipt and the card of my essay. I wanna share her information with you. Her name is Debbie. I'll put her information here. She did say that I could share the information with you. While I was there, I did put myself on the waiting list for a couple of other things. Debbie is very good, and this is in Tyson's Mall at Neiman Marcus. What happens is sometimes when you go into a Louis Vuitton store proper, they can be pretty crowded and it can be, I mean, when we walked in, they basically took our name, put us on a waiting list and it was fine. We looked around, we did get a sales associate, Bobster made a purchase and I looked at several things. So it was good, I'm not complaining in any way. Sometimes though, when you go into a department store and it's a smaller Louis Vuitton, they can actually have some of the items that you're looking for. We got the luggage tags there. They can often be even more helpful because they're not necessarily as busy. I really like Debbie. So if you are at Tyson's, please ask for Debbie and tell her that I sent you. Here is the box. It is the Louis Vuitton box with the blue ribbon. This is a drawer pull. Let me, I'll just unwrap it, I guess. I won't wear this one as a bracelet this time. So it opens just like this, a drawer. And I'll take this little item out. Here it is. It's tiny. This is the Zoe wallet in the emprunt leather in the color noir, which is black. I had wanted to get one of these before and there had been a lot of glazing issues on these. So I just didn't get it because I just didn't want to have to deal with that. But Bobster92, Bobby, told me while I was there and the sales associate, Debbie, that the glazing issues are no more. There were a couple of years where they had problems with it and they don't have problems anymore. So I will be testing that. Um, this is just an unboxing. I'll show it to you a little bit and, and talk to you about why I got it. If you really want a review of it, I'll need to use it for a while first. This is the wallet that I carry a lot of the time. This is my Zippy coin purse. And there are pros and cons to using this. There are enough cons with it that I wanted to try this type of wallet. And I'll just show you here that this little Zoe wallet is even smaller than the Zippy coin. I love the emprunt leather. It has a pocket here in the back. It has a brass button. I had a wallet before from Louis Vuitton that had the covered leather button that kept wearing off, driving me nuts. So I wanted to make sure that if I got another wallet with a button, that it was a brass button. You may be able to see there the Louis Vuitton on it. And this wallet is a trifold, opens like this. I can put dollar bills fully in here. This is pretty long. I tried my dollar bills in here. You could put bills in here that are bigger than US dollars. It has four card slots on the inside, and then it has this zippered coin area. And, oh, here we go. If you'd like to see what this item is, it's right there. This one says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. What I'm hoping is that this will become the wallet that I use all the time. I'm not somebody, I, I do have a lot of handbags as you may know, 
And I do have several SLGs, but I'm not somebody who likes to have a whole lot of SLGs and certainly not a whole lot of wallets. The wallets I have right now are my full-size Zippy wallet, which I don't think I'll ever give up because it is the older kind that opens and lays flat. It's a great wallet. And then I have the Zippy coin purse, and I would like for this to replace the Zippy coin purse. It may be that I end up using this one full time. We'll see. With the four slots, you know, I just have to decide if this is if this will be enough. We will know soon enough. I do plan to do a couple of other videos as I get to know this wallet better. I will do a full review and I will do a comparison of it with my Louis Vuitton Zippy coin. And down the road, I'll do a wear and tear and we'll talk about the glazing, but I would say that I should have it at least six months before we start talking about that, unless there's a problem that occurs before then, which hopefully there won't be. If there's anything in particular you'd like to know about this wallet, either about its features or how I use it, ask me in the comments below and I'll be sure to include that in one of those upcoming videos. I am a jewelry designer and I love taking the intimidation out of shopping for and wearing jewelry. I talk a lot about jewelry on this channel and I also talk about other aspects of design, especially luxury design and designer handbags. If that is of interest to you, I would love for you to subscribe. I'm uploading a video every single day for 2019 and I'd love to see you here again tomorrow. Until then.